Good afternoon. My name is Marjorie Linton, and I am an ordained minister of religion, author, motivational speaker, and a spiritual advisor with over 20 years experience. Welcome to my podcast, Healing Thoughts Today. Please join me now as I share workable views for healing and inspiration to empower you and to lift your vision higher. Prayer, we know, is one of the most important aspects of a Christian's life. It is anything we do on a conscious level. Our thoughts are prayers, so we are always praying. We should therefore be always conscious of our thoughts, as unruly thoughts may unconsciously dominate our minds to our disadvantage. So we need to position ourselves, my friends, like a watchman at a gate, constantly guarding our thoughts. My healing thought for today is entitled, Position Yourself to Receive. And in preparation to rightly position ourselves, I now invite you to close your physical eyes if you wish. Take a deep breath, gently release it, and in the silence of your heart, Feel the Spirit of God as a living, loving presence within you. Centered now in this awareness, please affirm God is closer to me than breathing, nearer than hands and feet. Father, we give you thanks for absolute good unfolding. We pray this in the name of Jesus the Christ. Amen. Recently, my friends, during my morning walk, I became conscious of the trees and the plants around me, and I noticed how well positioned they were to receive sunlight and rain for nourishment. Everything seemed so still. There was no struggle, just a quiet consent. I reflected on a dog we once had as children called Tiger. Tiger's large metal water bowl was located in a corner of the kitchen. Whenever it was empty, he would not bark or paw at it. Instead, he would just lie down quietly beside it and wait. Sometimes he would have to wait several minutes, but Tiger trusted that someone would eventually walk into the room and see him there and provide what he needed. Just like Tiger and the trees and the plants, all we need to do, my friends, to receive from God is to position ourselves. To position ourselves is not to beg and to plead with God. God already knows our needs, even before we do ourselves, before we call God answers. And while we yet speak, God hears. Amen. To position ourselves is to take no thought for our life. Matthew 6 verse 8 says, your Heavenly Father knows that you have need of all these things. And verse 33 says, Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. Amen. The truth is, my friends, God is omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient. He is always passing through and divine substance is therefore freely and readily accessible enabling healing of mind body and spirit prosperity in affairs spiritual fulfillment peace 
and happiness in relationships. We may not physically see Jesus, but if we are rightly positioned, we will feel his presence and we will be spiritually guided to take right action. Jesus told his disciples in Acts 1 verse 8, You will receive power when the Holy Spirit is come upon you. Amen. The woman with the issue of blood in the Gospels of Matthew, Mark, and Luke did all she could humanly do to heal herself, but to no avail. But she would not give up. There must be a way. She would find a way to position herself, she thought. A colleague of mine in seminary once said to me, Marjorie, when I truly want something from God, I get really serious with him. I shared this with a friend who laughed and said, he gets serious only with himself. And she was right. So the woman got serious with her God self. She was ready to receive. Jesus was the answer, she thought. He had performed many miracles, healing the sick, restoring sight to the blind, causing the lame to walk. And he even fed the hungry with what appeared to be limited food. She was sure that he could heal her condition as well. She heard news that he was visiting Galilee, so she began to devise a plan to connect with him. There was only one problem, however, she was bleeding, and with so many people seeking after Jesus, her chances looked slim. Her desire to be healed was stronger than her fears, however. She reckoned that she did not have to say a word to Jesus, nor did she need to have a physical touch from him. All she needed was to connect with him spiritually. So, she began to formulate her plan. She would try to get near enough just to touch the hem of his garment as he passed by. Jesus finally approached the huge crowd and the woman positioned herself inconspicuously, stooping down along the side of the road and awaited her chance to touch the Messiah's garment. No words were necessary, only her deep abiding faith. Someone touched me, Jesus said, as he instantly identified her in the huge crowd. Daughter, he said, looking straight at her, go your way, your faith hath made you whole. Amen. The lame man at the pool of Bethesda had a similar awakening experience. After many years of playing the blame game, he finally came to himself, assumed the right position, and rose from victim to victor after he encountered Jesus. Rise, take up your bed and walk, Jesus told him. The man took up his bed and he walked. In yet another scenario, the woman of Samaria, despite being labeled an outcast of society, was ready for transformation. Yes, she had lived a life of immorality, but she was still a child of God, and she was ready to take responsibility for her past mistakes. Her time had come. So she placed herself in the right position, at the well, at the right time of day, just when Jesus was passing by. 
She knew all about Jesus and Jesus knew all about her. But to him, her past did not define who she was, nor could it keep her in bondage. Jesus sensed her readiness to release and let go and her desire to move forward and begin anew. He then offered her living water or the living truth where she would no longer be ostracized. Amen. Bartimaeus was another candidate who was well positioned to receive his blessings. He was physically blind, but that did not prevent him from expecting to see Jesus. His inner desire was greater than his physical impairment, enough to place him right in the path where Jesus could not be missed. Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me, he exclaimed. And because of his readiness in positioning himself, Jesus healed him, my friends. Then there was Zacchaeus. Remember him? The little short man, he was a tax collector and a wealthy man. He was not physically sick, but spiritually in the void. And with all his material possessions, his life was empty. He was tall in stature, but not in consciousness. His desire to see Jesus was so great that he positioned himself by climbing a sycamore tree, not one of the easiest trees to climb so Jesus could not miss him. Because he was ready for transformation, Jesus felt his energy and declared, Zacchaeus, come down immediately for today. I must abide at thy house. It did not matter, my friends, that he was wealthy, nor did it matter that he was a tax collector. All that mattered was that Zacchaeus was ready to receive and Jesus was ready to deliver. Amen. Need I remind you of the disciples who fished all night and caught nothing only because they were not rightly positioned? Then, after Jesus appeared and told them to change their position to the right side, they caught an onslaught of fish. You see, beloved friends, we may have many different needs and unfulfilled desires, but it is never too late to find the right position. We can achieve whatever we desire by rightly positioning ourselves. When the student is ready, the teacher appears. Jesus is always passing by. Are you ready to position yourself to experience your blessing? No matter what kind of challenge we all have, all things are possible. Our good awaits us, but we must rightly position ourselves with the desire, the will, the determination and the faith to succeed. The first position, my friends, is to engage in daily prayer and meditation and the reading of God's holy word. The next position to take, my friends, is to surrender. After we have done our part, it is time to surrender to the process or to let go and let God. It is not our responsibility to know how or where or when our good comes. Our responsibility, my friends, is to do the inner work. Then trust God, let go and let God. The final position to take, my friends, 
is to give God thanks in advance, knowing it is already done. Not only is the Holy Spirit always on our side, but it is always making a way for us to accomplish our goals. Whatever you ask in prayer, believe that you have already received it and it will be yours. God is always available, but only through a conscious realization of his presence and his power. When you correctly position yourself, physically, spiritually, and emotionally, you become a candidate to receive regardless of trying conditions or circumstances. It is all up to you, my friends. Whatever your needs may be, a higher education, financial blessings, a home, a car, a business, right companionship, healing, prosperity. It is all possible when you claim your divine birthright. Seek God always. Have a relationship with him. Feel his presence within you and you will never fail. Amen. And now, beloved friends, Please join me for our points for contemplation. We are spiritual beings going through a human experience. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things will be added unto you. God is omnipresent, omnipotent, and omniscient, always passing through. Divine substance is freely and readily accessible. If we are rightly positioned, we will feel the Christ presence within us and we will be spiritually guided to take right action. Our good awaits us, but we must rightly position ourselves with the desire, the will, the determination and the faith to succeed. We must engage in daily prayer and meditation and the reading of God's holy word. We must affirm the truth in the face of all negation. Concentrate only on the Christ presence and not on the problem or on the desired result. Surrender to the process or let go and let God. It is not our responsibility to know how or where or when our good comes. Our responsibility is to do the inner work and leave the rest to God. When you correctly position yourself physically, spiritually and emotionally, you become a candidate to receive. Amen. And now, beloved friends, our call to action. I invite you now to join with me for the call to action, still in your thoughts for a moment, and entering now into a moment of silence. Now, bring to attention any difficult situation that you face, any challenge, or any desire you may have. A broken relationship, loneliness, financial luck, a health challenge, fear, anxiety, whatever it may be, 
Position yourself to receive. God is forever at work in you balancing and harmonizing every area of your being. As you listen in the silence of your heart, know that the Lord your God speaks and the earth trembles. Allow this holy word of love and faith to speak through you, transforming your world and everything around you. Now, give God thanks for the activity of the word of truth as it erases all false concepts and beliefs for your ever-present hope, encouragement, and salvation. Your heart is now filled to overflow with praise and thanksgiving for the gifts of eternal life, infinite love, joy, and everlasting peace. Amen. Beloved friends, it was with the joy of the Lord that I presented healing thoughts today. I am looking forward to being with you once more next week Friday for another healing thought today. Please subscribe. God bless you.